The harsh economic environment has blinded Nigerians to the fact that all presidential candidates had agreed that Nigeria could not afford to keep on fuel subsidy. Some actions taken by the previous administration also had far-reaching implications on present-day realities. It was very clear with Nigerians, uh, as were the other presidential candidates on this issue, that there were going to be, there was going to be the implementation of the full removal of the fuel subsidy. Everybody was in agreement that that was in the interest of the nation, even as it was going to bring short-term pain. There was no way you were going to avoid uh, forex volatility, as it were. If you just printed um, 22, 23 trillion naira pumped into the system with nothing to back it by way of ways and means, which was what happened under the previous regime. There is no way you will pump all of those and not expect prices, inflation, and exchange rates to give way. The Tinubu administration has already taken steps to remedy the situation. We've seen a dramatic uh, uh, decline. Uh, Daily Trust reported it, dramatic decline uh, in the in the uh, parallel market as it relates to uh, the the value of the dollar in the parallel market, and of course the rise in in the value of the naira against the dollar in the parallel market. Uh, these are not accidents. These are uh, direct outcomes of uh, the interventions made by His Excellency President Bola Metinubu, and Nigerians can expect more relief to come in the days ahead. I believe that the central bank is doing its utmost and probably uh, expecting a naira stability um, uh, in the days ahead, uh, trying to make the best of, the, um, of a bad uh, situation as it were. Government does acknowledge that the burden on the people, especially the removal of subsidy, has profoundly affected the Nigerian cost of living. The pump price for PMS in our West African uh, neighbors uh, is significantly higher. In some countries, even double what uh, the current Nigerian pump price is. Even as we agree on that fundamental reality, you also recognize the shock value of uh, increasing uh, you know, fuel price from where it was uh, to where it is today. And we are, we are promising our people that it will not be for nothing. With a new cabinet in place, decision-making will revolve around a larger set of professionals, some of whom are connected to their people. It is expected that the volume of shock decisions will lessen and allow government to stabilize. From State House Abuja, Kendi Amudu, Trust TV News.